Hey, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and I just wanted to show you how I use Search Console to find quick wins and quick opportunities to work on for client websites. And you can do this for your own websites as well. So we're in Search Console here, and we're looking at the last 28 days. I'm gonna include the average position and average click-through rate. And you could do a lot of this inside Search Console itself. Um, Search Console, to me, though, is not the easiest to work with and you can you certainly can sort data in here but I like working in a spreadsheet in a spreadsheet I can save it come back to it a few days later if I need to or reference it at another time you can, it's also a lot easier to send to anyone that you're collaborating with or working with on a project so we're gonna take this data and we're gonna export it and I'm just gonna use Google Sheets and now we have this I'm gonna take a, a few seconds here to organize this, make it a little more readable for you. Okay, that's a little bit easier to see and a little bit easier to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this top pane, or top row, sorry. And what that lets me do is I can scroll down now and those top that top row stays stays in place. Right now, this is sorted by clicks from top to bottom. I actually want to change that. And we're going to sort from low to high. Now, Search Console only lets you export a thousand rows of data. Depending on how much data you have inside your site, you might have a lot of zero click volume, uh, zero click keywords in here. Right now, uh, for this particular site it a thousand rows doesn't include any of those and what I want to do here what I want to do here is create a filter okay and all I'm gonna do I want to sort by impressions and I want to look for keywords that are getting a fair number of impressions but we're not really getting any clicks from them So we're going to sort by condition, and I want greater than, and let's just look at 2,500. Okay, there we go. And what I'm looking for here, you could also set up another filter here by position if you have a lot of data in this, but I can see everything here. And what I'm looking for is keywords that are kind of close to the top 10 or maybe close to the top five, but not quite there that just need a little bit of a push and we can get a lot more, a uh, lot more traffic from them. So for example, we have a keyword here that is ranking number seven, 3,300 impressions, only one click. So another one <clears throat> as right around the top 10, 4,800 impressions, five clicks. Another example, 3,900 impressions, uh, and so on. So these are all in like seven to 10, 11, 12 range. And these are keywords that I would wanna look on. The next step that I would do is I would Google these search terms to see what page it is of my site that is ranking for these terms. And then I can turn around and start working on how can I improve that page to rank a little higher for these particular terms. Okay, another thing we can do to look for some quick wins is we can filter the position. And we're going to do less than or equal to five. So this will bring up all your keywords that are showing up in the top five positions. And then what I want to do is sort this column from low to high, and I'm looking for low click-through rates. So for example, um, ones that stick out, right here's one that's ranking between position one and two, but only has a click-through rate of 1.22%. Now there might be some cases where that makes sense, like maybe it was a brand search for another brand, and they're ranking number one, so they deserve to get the clicks, but there may be something wrong that may wanna look at title tags and, and the content on the page and see why <clears throat> we're not getting more clicks.
here's another one. Actually, all of these really. And we're in the top five, uh, top four, getting less than 2%. There may be some opportunities here to improve these. Here's another one um, where we're only getting 2.56%, ranking between two and three. Here's one that's really concerning, ranking number one and getting just over 3% click-through rate. Um, another one where ranking between one and two, getting less than 5%. So, and here's here's a couple more, ranking number one and getting 5%. Now, <clears throat> I can't reveal the search terms because of the, the client um, confidentiality, but there may be some, some reasons to explain this, and I would go in and look at the SERPs and see maybe there's a featured snippet above that answers these search queries. And if that's the case, I want to see how I can overtake some of those uh, snippets. In the case of ranking number one, yeah, you know, there might be something, something else going on there. Why we're not getting click through rates again? It might be that we're just ranking for somebody else's brand or something or a brand related search. So we don't necessarily deserve the clicks, but maybe I can change around the title tag a little bit to entice a few more people to click if we if we want those clicks. But this is an easy sort you can do to look at where your click through rates are maybe weak and, and not matching up and get and change around some title tags, uh, maybe even the meta description just to see if you can improve those click through rates. All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure you sign up at the SEO pub to our email list to get more tips like this delivered weekly into your inbox. And I'll catch you in the next one.